we go on our way to another epic adventure in the Canadian Rockies. Hey there, we are here at the Shark Mountain Trailhead. I believe it's called the Shark Mountain Trailhead. I will put the correct name here. If not, getting ready to head out on a four night, five day backpacking trip up to Mount Assiniboine and back. It is a spectacular hike from what I understand. It's a spectacular camp we'll be camping at at Magog Lake. And the drive in here was probably one of the most beautiful drives I've ever had to a trailhead in my life. <laughs> so I am super, super excited about this. So they got wolves and grizzly bears here. Lots of closures, but we don't have to worry about any of those on our trip. And we're starting on the Watridge Lake Trail. We're gonna pass Watridge Lake in a few miles and then we'll be headed up Bryant Creek. on the trail and the sun's made a little bit of an appearance. White puffy clouds. We haven't seen the sun for days so it's a very welcomed treat. We are officially in Banff National Park now. See the park boundary sign. Still got uh, a few more hours of hiking to go. Attention, grizzly bears, you are entering an area where hikers have surprised bears in the past and been seriously injured. Use extreme caution beyond this point. about 2.7 miles away from camp. We took a little break at another camp and happened to see a moose, the first moose of this trip. It drizzled on us a little bit, but it has stopped. And the sun's come out a little bit as well. It's beautiful. It's a really nice trail. Very, uh, it's a wide trail with uh, pine needles on it. And really nice to walk on. A little spooky knowing that they're our grizzly bears out here <laughs> but it also makes it very exciting and yeah we'll be to camp pretty soon joey and i divided up the chores i would set up the tent and he would go store our food in the food lockers not too far away All right, we have made it to our camp, and you can see they have these really nice tent pads here. And we're only allowed one tent per site, so I'm sharing Kat's tent with her. And it's actually pretty nice. There's like 10 sites in here, but 
they're kind of spaced out and private with all the trees and then there are bare food lockers like a couple hundred yards that way It was about 9 p.m. when we finally got around to dinner, so it was a quick dinner and then bed. Enjoying a little breakfast here before it's time to hit the trail. We had a nice morning. The sun poked out for a little bit. It was very nice and warm, but the clouds are covering the sun once again. But the good news is I don't think it's supposed to rain. Today we will be going over the Mount Assiniboine Pass and tonight we'll be camping at Mount Assiniboine. I'm really excited about that. We got into camp at about 9 p.m. last night, or actually 8 p.m., had dinner about 9. So it was kind of a late night. We got a late start. We didn't leave until 4.30 uh, from the trailhead. But uh, we got here and it's light until about 11 o'clock. Last night was the longest night or the longest day of the year. It's the first day of summer, summer solstice. So we had lots of daylight and uh, it's been a great trip so far. I'm looking forward to what today holds. I think we're gonna get some amazing, amazing views. Yeah, we've packed up camp and walked about 20 minutes down from our campsite to Marvel Lake. And we're just getting our first view of it now. We're going to see this on day four. We're going to come back down alongside it from somewhere up there. Directly behind me is Marble Lake, and I think this is a little bit of a taste of the beauty that we're gonna see today. Just gets me super stoked for what's to come. And here is where things started opening up to our first of many incredible views. We are on the final approach to our pass. That's it uh, right there, that little saddle. It's been much more wooded than we were expecting, but we are getting out of the tree line and should have some really good views soon. All right, we made it to the pass and we are out of Banff and now in Mount Assiniboine Provincial Park, which has a whole different set of rules. And we have a permit, a separate permit from the BAMP permit to camp here. 
which is what this sign is saying. We are at 2,180 meters above sea level, so pretty high up. And we've got about three kilometers to get down to our camp. And so now we're beginning our descent down to Lake Magog, which is about four kilometers away, all downhill. Wow, our first views of Mount Assiniboine and Lake Magog, jaw-dropping. First impression, this might be the most beautiful scenery I have ever backpacked to. I don't know, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And we are almost to camp. We've made it to camp here at Lake Magog. We don't know that this is the actual site we're going to take. We took our packs off. Joey left his with me and he's going to scope out the area. This is a large campground. You do have to have a reservation. I think there are about 40 sites. I've, I'll put the correct number here, but it is beautiful. You cannot see uh, Assiniboine Peak, Mount Assiniboine from at least this campground this campsite. So that is what Joey's going to find out is if there is a site where we can see it. If not though, this is beautiful. We have a gorgeous view right there. <laughs> really happy to be here. It's uh, been a long day of hiking and we did go over a pass. It was very steep at times. So I'm glad to be at camp. I'm just sitting having my coffee in the food prep area. There's a common area that all the campers need to prepare, eat their food, store their food. There are food lockers here. There's an area to hang food as well. And uh, it's a really nice setup. There were several people here when I got down here for my coffee, so I didn't want to film while other people were present to respect their privacy. But it is a beautiful morning, a peaceful morning. We are going to just hang out at the lake today. We don't have any hiking to do. It's a down day. We will leave our camp set up and that's gonna be awesome. A nice relaxing day here in Mount Assiniboine Provincial Park. We have left our camp set up and are headed down to the shores of Lake Magog to spend a few hours at the beach. You can also see the Assiniboine Lodge above Cat's Head there. We might walk up there in a little bit and see if we can get food. Maybe they sell beer. But it's absolutely beautiful right now. Hardly any clouds.
out on the beach for a while, we decided to check out the lodge, but they were unfortunately closed to the general public. We have some pretty awesome rock furniture. We're at the other end of the lake now. We're actually right below where our campsite is. There's a little trail. A little trail goes up that way and then our camp's like right there in the trees. And then the rest of the campground, it runs that way. So we kind of have this private spot back here and then when you walk down to the lake, there's just um, rock furniture everywhere basically. It has been an absolutely beautiful and relaxing day and I'm really grateful and thankful that we had time to spend at this lake to just really soak it in and enjoy it because who knows when I'll be back here, if I'll ever be back here, but I'm enjoying every second of it while I'm here. It is stunning. It definitely has a different feel to me than any other place I've been. It doesn't remind me of the Sierra, it doesn't remind me of the Wind River Range. Even though it's Alpine Lake, it just definitely feels like I'm in a different country, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, I'm just soaking it all in. Looking forward to catching the sunset tonight. We didn't really, we were so tired last night that we didn't uh, go down to the lake to, to look at it. But uh, tonight is the night and hopefully it's gonna be a good one. The lazy day in the sun made me really tired for a nap. That's rare for me. Joey opted to go on a hike. Let me show you a little of what he saw. Upon his return, we were ready to head down to the lake shore and check out the sunset in front of camp. It would not disappoint. Good morning. We've hit the trail on day number four. We are heading towards Wonder Pass. We have a pass to do early this morning. We have about, uh, I think 10 miles, or actually no, a little more than that, 12 miles to go to our next camp. Something like that. <laughs> I could be wrong. But we're talking about potentially hiking back to the trailhead. We will see how we feel. That would make it about an 18 mile day, I believe. But it is a beautiful morning, nice and sunny and gorgeous. Headed to Wonder Pass. We would see more absolutely stunning scenery on this day as well as an encounter with some scary wildlife.
we're almost, um, almost up to the pass and are going to be back in Alberta and Banff here shortly. All right, we have made it to Wonder Pass. Not sure how high up we are, but we're back in Banff now, in Alberta. And we're gonna start heading down that way towards Marvel Lake, which we can't even see yet. Catching a little break here at the top of Wonder Pass with incredible views, 360 degrees. of bear scat my foot for size so it's not really that big but kind of appears to be wet something is moving over there I can't quite see what it is trail could though go that way that could be people but that could be moose elk can't tell yet All right, so straight in front of us, right in there, is a grizzly bear. And it's moving the same way we're moving. And the only problem we have right now is that we gotta go that way. Our trail is basically gonna skirt, you can see it right here. It's going down here and it kinda just goes right underneath it. We just passed a group of hikers that we ran into before. They were headed to the lake to fish and they ran into the bear and they're turning around. So we just got to keep our eyes peeled. I don't even know where it went now. This was my first sighting and first encounter with a grizzly bear while backpacking in grizzly country. I had seen them roadside in the front country on numerous occasions. Needless to say, I was a little bit nervous about having to navigate past this big fella. Although he didn't really seem too interested in us, we made our presence known. You can see our trail. We have to go right underneath the bear, but it doesn't seem to care that we're here. Alright, pretty awesome spot right now. We gotta walk right underneath this grizzly. You can see him up there on the hillside. And then to our left, we have our first view of Marvel Lake, which we're dropping down to. Hey, big fella! He knows we're here. He's looked down at us a few times. And he keeps kind of keeping his back to us. How's it going, Cat? Just saw your first grizzly in the wild. Did. Better not lag too far behind. Oh, you never know, he could be creeping up on us. He could. It's not that far back. It's not. It's what, awesome. Beautiful. What do you think? Very exciting. Yeah. It's been a long time coming. I've been always wanting to see one when I've been in grizzly country. It's the first time and it was definitely got the adrenaline going, but it's beautiful. How'd you like walking underneath him? You wouldn't have called him beautiful if... Uh... Yeah. I mean, I felt like at least he was going the opposite direction as, of us, but could have decided at any time to turn around and I mean, he was close. He would have been on us in seconds. Yeah. So. All right. We made it. So far. Yeah.
and at this point we had completed the loop and would be retracing our steps back to the trailhead. So you can see this trail is a little bit brushy and we've already seen a bear today. So it's a little bit spooky. We are back in the trees, back in the forest. We just passed our first camp, which means we have approximately eight miles left. And the general consensus at this point is cheeseburgers for dinner and hike all the way out. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I'll check in at the end and let you know. We opted to hike the full 18 miles out as there was an impending storm. We had sore feet, sore bodies, and were hungry, but it was all worth it. It was one of the most stunning backpacking trips I have ever done. Thank you so much, Canada. Mm -hmm.